Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Edna and Harvey The Breakout. And we last we left off. I bet you didn't know that Edna's a qualified surgeon. Well, we discovered that last time when she managed to separate Hottie and Motty from each other by using the pinking shears on the jumper. She got a qualification from Imaginary University, and it's one with super duper honours. That's even better than normal honours, don't you know? I may also be making some of this up. It's up to you to discover if that's true or not. Let us talk to Hottie and Motty individually, because we can do so, starting with Hottie. What's wrong? You're free! Each of you guys can do whatever you always wanted to do. Oh, the wealth of possibilities. And the accompanying pressure that comes with it. Ooh, my. I'm sure you two will be fine. Now let's talk to Marty. What's wrong? You're free. Each of you guys... Oh, and the... Ooh. That dialogue is exactly the same. So we'll leave these two to their newfound freedom and talk to the final person that we've encountered that we haven't had a conversation with yet. And that is Mr. Frog. We can find Mr. Frog in the laundry lift system. So let's go and have a chat. Here we go. Ho ho! Hello, Mr. Frog. How are you? Hello over there. Oh, a new neighbor. Who are you? We sort of have an idea as to who you are, but it always pays to check, just in case we're wrong. You may not be Mr. Frock, you may be Mr. Mock instead, who mocks our ability to search for Mr. Frock. You're probably not, but let's find out. Who are you? I am Mr. Frock, of course. <laughs> Strange name, that. It is meant for a human, but I am a... A frock, I get it. Oh no, not at all. You flatterer, I am merely a coat. Nice to meet you. Do you really live here? What if you roll over while you're sleeping? You'll fall to your doom. Don't tell me you live here. Why not? This lift offers a lot of convenience for a piece of apparel like me. And what convenience exactly would that be? Well, there's this rail where you can put coat hangers. And it's dry. We clothes are very absorbent, you know. I see. I imagine there are a lot of other places here that would also fulfill those two very strict criteria. But hey, if you like living here, that's fine. Let's ask where the lift's going. Considering that you live here, you'll surely know that answer in depth. Where's this lift going? I can't answer that, I'm afraid. There are three exits in total. One of them is the laundry in the basement. You get a great view from there. Unfortunately, I forget where the other two exits lead. Why? How long have you been hanging up here? <laughs> they used to call me Mr. Toga. My, my, that's a long time you've been hanging there. Many centuries, by your logic. I doubt you've been hanging there for that long. Unless you arrived in a toga. That might not have been that long ago. Let's ask this question. I'm sure it's something that he's very concerned about. Are there any moths in here? Don't frighten me. What makes you think that? Have you seen anything? I had a feeling just now of something moving in the shadows. Oh, that. Those are just wolf spiders. There are lots of them in here. But moths? Now, that would be a disaster. My fabric is so delicate. Some people would be more concerned about the wolf spiders, but I can understand why moths frighten you so. Now let's ask about how you managed to stay so exceptionally clean. Wow, you are exceptionally white. What do you use? Astonishing, isn't it? I'm very proud of my colorlessness. I used to be beige, but there's not a lot of light in here, so the pigments left out of boredom. Is it possible for colours to leave out of boredom? Who can say? All I know is that's a very blatant clue as to what we're meant to do here. If you're very proud of being clean, we're going to make you not so clean at some point. Now let's ask about the next exit. It has been quite a while compared to the first time we used this. Isn't the next exit due soon? I have the same feeling that time has slowed down while we were talking. Oh, here it is. Ah, <laughs> like that. It's referencing itself and how silly that is. Now we can go down if you want to. Let's try. 
I'd break every bone in my body if I did that. We were told that by the Key Master, which means we're here again. Let's use Harvey with Mr. Frock. What do you make of him, Harvey? He's a little too colorless for my taste. The next exit is approaching. We're not going to have much time to have interactions with him, and we really don't want to be here right now. So let's make our way back and see if we can find something to cushion our fall. We won't find anything here, we've searched here pretty thoroughly. Now let's see if we can use the mallet. I don't beat old men. At least none that are out of my reach. Fair enough. The next exit is approaching. And we didn't have very long. Now there's only one thing I can think of that we could use for padding so that we can get back to the main area. And that was the blanket that Hottie and Motty were resting on in the bed. They did mention it quite a bit, which told me that it was quite important. And they're no longer here! Aha! We have an opportunity to take it. Let's see if we can... Yep, we can look at it. So, let's look at it and then have it for our own. This is by far the softest sheet I've ever seen. It does look very comfy. Hadi? Madi? They vanished into thin air. What magic is this? I mustn't succumb to my lower instincts. But it is very comfy. Now let's take it. Though I can think of a thousand ways to use it, I still think it's too bulky to lug around. You just haven't tried. You're a point-and-click adventure game protagonist. You can carry positively anything, including a very big and bulky blanket. But I suppose if you're not going to move it, we can't get you to move it. Let's see if Harvey can come up with a way for us to lug this thing around. Look, Harvey, a sheet. Ick. Harvey is not enthused to see this. Let's see what happens if we try and hit it with the mallet. I'll only waste valuable energy. The bedding is so soft, the mallet just bounces back. That makes sense. It does look very springy and comfy. Now it is our blanket. You see that, Hottie and Motty? We have claimed it. It is no longer yours. Comic book? In this panel, we see Captain Useless sleeping while the commissioner gives the signal. Oh, Captain Useless, you're so silly. This sheet is even softer than my pot holders. I have a good mind just to fall into it. Those are some very soft sheets. What about the mustard? Now it is a messy blanket, but it's not messy enough. Excellent. Police badge? Sheriff Conrad deduces an abduction of twins. Maybe we'll find them at some point and rescue them. Or maybe not. Paper cup? This cup is of no use anymore. I'll just leave it in the bed. And now it is gone. Over there. But I have a feeling we're going to be able to get more paper cups pretty soon. So I'm not going to load up to get it back. Now let- Oh, actually we still have it! Aha! The magic replicating paper cup once again creates a copy of itself. I don't know why it sometimes does that and sometimes doesn't. But I'm not going to complain. Let's use the pot here. This is not a bedpan. Indeed it isn't, though it could act as one. Key? I'd only lose it in this pile of sheets. It's gigantic. I have a good mind just to fall into it. Don't be tempted to sleep, Edna. We don't know how much time will pass if you do. All of our puzzles may be undone. They may clean the walls of Dr. Marcel's office. You'll have to doodle all over them again. And you don't want to do that. Now we have attacked it with a fork. And a knife. Cocktail menu? It doesn't say you get bedside service. Ah, the handwriting of the barkeeper is totally illegible. There was a line of dialogue that actually wasn't there. I wonder if that's actually there in the game and just didn't play properly, or if it's completely missing. Who can say? What we can say is we've made this into an absolute mess. But we're going to make it into even more of a mess before we're done. I'd rather sign up for sleep therapy. That would certainly be a lot more comfy than the therapy that we sat in on. Dr. Marcel's signature? Marvellous. It does soak up quite a bit into the blanket, which makes it look very blurry. But while we're here, 
Now it has X's on it as well. Let us see what happens if we attack it with the shovel. I'd really love to bury myself in the pillows, but I gotta move on. That we do. We're not gonna solve any puzzles if we don't. Straw but Strawson? I think this is as messy as we're possibly going to make it. Apart from using the chips, Hotty and Motty did hint that if this thing was covered in crumbs, that it would have to be taken to be cleaned, and I'm relying on that to provide the cushioning to get back into the laundry room. At least I hope that's how it's going to work. I didn't ask Hottie and Motty for their phone number. Silly me. Now we're never going to be able to find out where they've gone. Let us see what happens if we use coat hanger number two here. The sheet is too big for the hanger. It's forming a huge soft pile on the bed. I have a good mind just to fall into it. Hmm. It was worth a try. Toenail? Ah, the toenails are actually there. We can see them for a change and we need to get some more. Good thing they grew back really quickly. And finally, the cocktail glass, which I'm certainly going to save before I use, because I don't know if we're going to lose this. I definitely want to keep this item. Remember Chairman Chairleg, folks. He was lost so that we could be wary about losing other items. I still miss him. I can't do any more harm with this. The stinky drink is empty. That it is. Now let us use the thing that is probably going to lead to progress. The chips. You're not supposed to eat chips in bed. Of course that wasn't going to stop Edna. Now that blanket is an absolute state, and we no longer have the chips. Let's get out of here and see if that has done what I think it will do. This also gives us another opportunity to use some items on Mr. Frock. We're going to use all our items eventually. It's going to take a while though. Alright. We want to use the uh, pot holders next. Let's go. Here we go. Oh ho! Right. Actually, the comic book next. It is too dark in here to read. That makes sense. The pot holders would probably fit him. Too bad I can't reach him. The next exit is approaching. Alas. And there is that bed sheet. We could use that to get down. But we're not going to. There are more things that we can use on Mr. Frock. Like these that we're not going to use right now. Lift inspection. I'll have to confiscate your coat hanger. It is impossible, I'm afraid. I'm really quite attached to it. You hang out all the time, don't you? We only part whilst cleaning. The next exit is approaching. You only part while you're cleaning, eh? Is that a not-so-subtle hint? I think it is. Also, while we're here, let's do this. The laundry lift must be kept in clean condition at all times. Aha! In fact, while we're here, why don't we do that to everything that we can, including the potted plants? I bet we can do this to the potted plants. We can! Aha! We can do that here. And I don't think there was anything we could do with that in there, so let us move over to here. There are a few things we could use this on here. Like that. Whoa, an armory of spitballs. Come on, Edna. Being a pro, you should be able to spit without even using paper. I guess you're right. Indeed, you are right. We are able to do that. Case in point. Let's quickly go over here and use this, uh, on this set of shelves. Why not while we're here? We need to cause more mayhem after all. Marvelous. And over here as well. Because we know that we can use the straw on things that we can't normally use the straw on, like chairs. Marvelous. Now let's get out of here, and there are a few more places that we can use this, like in the recreation area and in the professor's room. Don't mind me, B-Man, I'm causing a mess. You don't mind at all, marvelous. Over here we go. 
Ah, we can cause a mess here, that's for sure. Let us do that. I have an idea! I have an idea! We should search the cracks for useful things using the straw. You think so? All right. <coughs> How useful are lint, dust, and <coughs> cockroaches? Shh, Edna, an idea is just materializing in my head. Yes, yes, we should, we should, the moon, the earth, whoosh! I have no idea what the actual plan is here, Harvey, but it sounds really silly. And while we're here, we might as well further augment this sign. Now the sign is absolutely perfect. I'd love to, but there are no pins left. There's nothing we can do with the message board, and that makes sense. But we can do something with the sofa, if the game will let me use the use command. I have an idea! I wish you think so. <laughs> How? Shh, yes. And Somebody that else. is exactly the same. Fair enough. Let's move on and head back over to the professor's room, as we know there are a few plants that we can use this straw on. Okay, let us uh, use this here. Marvelous. And here. And finally, here. And I'm not sure if we actually want this light on. We're probably going to be able to find out one way or another soon enough when we get back to the main part of the asylum, but for now, I'm going to turn this off. And make my way back to the laundry lift. We have more things that we need to use on the, uh, on Mr. Frog, including the ketchup and or mustard. I have a feeling that he's really not going to like it if we do that. Let's go! Now we just use this, so let's use the cup. Are you thirsty? No thanks. The lift offers plenty of resources to the absorbent piece of clothing. What resources might those be? Microbe milk. You can't milk microbes. <laughs> Can do. You'll just have to be careful when extracting it. The next exit is approaching. Exceptionally careful, I imagine. We're not done with you, Mr. Frog. Let's go back. Here we go! I'm surprised that Mr. Frog is right there when we get back in the lift, but let's use the pot. Are you hungry? No thanks. The lift offers plenty of resources to the absorbent piece of clothing. What resources might those be? Crustaceans. The next exit is approaching. There are crustaceans in the laundry lift system? I don't think I believe you. Also, this is a very silly scene. If someone was here doing the washing, and they saw that, there'd be a number of questions they'd be asking. Now let's use the key. He doesn't need doors. He has the laundry lift. Indeed he the next does. Exit is approaching. And unfortunately, I was thwarted in using another item. But we can always go back and now use another item, like the fork. He's neither al dente nor al capone. You can tell from the stick test. And his light clothing. The next exit is approaching. Indeed, Edna. Indeed. Here we go. She's so excited when she goes back on the laundry lift system. Let's use the knife. You could make a great ghost costume out of him. Too bad he's out of my reach. Let's not do that. The next exit is approaching. And instead, go past here again. We can definitely go down on that. The down has moved over to there. Now let us use this. Are you thirsty? No thanks. The lift. What? Re my. You can't. <laughs> You'll just. We've the seen that before. Is approaching. Time now to go back and use. Let's see. These. You can make a great too bad. We've seen that as well. Mr. Frog doesn't need therapy. What he needs is a change of scenery. The next exit is approaching. That he does, and I think that's the game giving us another not-so-subtle hint. Here we go! Excitement abound! Now let us use this. His paleness seems to beg for it, but he's out of my reach, I'm afraid. The next exit is approaching. 
And that's another hint. We need to do something, but we can't reach with the pen. We could reach with the ketchup or mustard, however. Now let us try this. Are you thirsty? No, the lift. What? Re Mike? You can <laughs> You'll jump. That's exactly the same. I don't bury old men. At least, none that are out of my reach. The next exit is approaching. And that was trying to use the shovel. Now let's quickly see if we can use the phone. Hmm. No reception in the laundry lift. Alas. Toadale? The next exit is approaching. We couldn't use the toadale in time. Here we go. But we can now. And we'll try and swap coat hangers. I doubt that's going to work. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? We were giving you a toadale. It's a bit tricky to use the coat hanger while I'm suspended from it. The next exit is approaching. You're not trying hard enough, Edna. Now, I think we've done pretty much everything that we can, apart from using the ketchup and mustard. We'll be doing that at the same time. Let's see what happens if we try and offer the straw. Are you thirsty? No, th the lift. What reason? My you can <laughs> You'll jump. And that's the same as offering anything else protein. that uh, Mr. Frog can drink. Now, let's mess this up using these. Oh, he's not happy. I've teased him enough. That you have. Really, Mr. Frock? You're all dirty. Good. The next exit is approaching. Oh, he is angry. Here we go. He's very angry. That's strange. Where's Mr. Frock? And now he's gone. And I think I know where he's gone to. We'll see him soon enough. The next exit is approaching. First, let's go down. You may have noticed that there's a coat hanger here. And that's Mr. Frog in there. Okay, when Mr. Frog said he likes to keep clean, he wasn't joking. My, is that going to get him clean? I just hope he's going to be all right in there. And so, when we come back, folks, we are back at last in the main part of the asylum. And there are quite a few things that we can do here, including giving someone a spoon and seeing if we can get that master key. But all that will come in time, because now that we're here, we have access to paper cups galore, and we have things that we can use to mess up absolutely everything that we encounter. And that's exactly what we're going to do. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.